So welcome to this webinar here and in this webinar here I want to discuss with you the absolute necessity of a step-by-step -step approach when it comes to dealing with candida or thrush or fungal infections and this is going to help you how to avoid years and years of mistakes. Okay, this is Nicola Zanetti, Bachelor degree in Biology, Master degree in Human Nutrition, Nutritional Therapist and Senior College Lecturer. With this out of the way we can start. So, if you're a person experiencing candida, this is a must-see because this is going to help you and avoid so many years of mistakes in your journey against the nasty fungus. Okay, so in this webinar here, I will discuss with you how you can precisely determine if candida, if a candida recovery appointment with an expert will be useful to your life before you spend money on that. Because this is some of the, this is probably one of the biggest issues that I still see and people keep asking me, like they go, they spend money for an appointment and then they are let basically like upset with the results okay so in this webinar here i will really guide you in depth on what to expect during like a candida appointment and what to do about the candida plan then i will also precisely tell you the only logical first step that you need to start from today you need to take from today when it comes to your journey against candida this is not debatable this is exactly the only logical step that you need to take today to go against candida, to go against thrush and improve the quality of your life. Now before we do that, this is a medical disclaimer, so please pause the video now, read the whole entirety of the medical disclaimer before we proceed to the next slide. So with this out of the way, let's go to the next slide. So all of these, the necessity of this video here came out out of um, me recently purchase, purchasing like a like a very expensive ticket of a, like of a streaming video course of a top guru of self-improvement. And so I bought this ticket here and the course was designed for four days. And I was really excited about this. I was like, okay, I'm gonna spend essentially my whole Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday to learn from one person who is considered to be a master in his, is in his area and I'm gonna learn so much about this area of self-improvement. I don't wanna go into much de uh, detail so you will, uh, otherwise you can understand what I'm talking about and I don't want to, but essentially like it was like the moment for me, oh this is gonna be great. What happened actually was extremely saddening and upsetting because Essentially, for more than 20 to 30 hours of the course, I was exposed to simply motivational slogans, simply like sales pitch of him trying to sell is like, uh, like becoming like a consultant for him. And there were no like applicable steps. Like essentially, there were basically nothing that was teaching me what to do. Okay. In the whole course, there were only two hours of good content. Everything else was simply like motivational, so simply like stories, but nothing to teach me precisely what I needed to do on a day-to-day -day basis to, to essentially master this area of my life. And think about the time and the money that I wasted. This is like something that really made me annoyed because like it was an expensive ticket and it was long. Like again, it was four days of webinar and I was all, or seminar, and I was always waiting. Yes, but where is the juice of this, do this seminar here? And that juice was never coming. Like maybe I was given like 10, 15 minutes per day of good content. And until almost the end of, of, the, of the seminar where I was given a little bit of content, nothing was coming. Now, this is a huge problem that you will see over and over and over again on the internet when people try to give you solutions to problem, okay? So in this video here, let me teach you exactly what you need to expect, what you must demand from someone that is giving you like a candida approach because without these steps here, that approach is wrong. Okay, so let me remind you one more time that courses and consultation are a waste of time if they're not made by qualified and specialist experts. And I will also explain to you what I mean by that later. Okay, so let's begin with the purpose. So what is the purpose of booking an appointment with a candida expert? So the purpose is essentially to teach you how to go from where you are to where you want to be. So where you are is in a terrible situation in which you have the itching, the discharges, like the brain fog, all of the candida symptoms which are making your life miserable, 
to a place where you want to be, which is like a life which is symptoms free. Okay, so the purpose of a booking an appointment is for someone to give you this where you are now, where you want to be in a clear approach, in a clear step by step approach. Okay, so you need to realize a couple of things though when it comes to Candida. The journey is painful, complicated, and it takes time to be solved. How much time? Now again, I don't want to lie to you, I don't want to be the next internet marketer telling you you can heal Candida in a month or in a week or any of those like lies. It's going to take at least six months of constant improvement, but more probably it's going to go to one year of really working hard on the topic. Again, I know this may seem unfair, I know it may, they may seem hard, but what alternative do you have? Do you want to keep Candida in your body? Like, are you happy with the situation? If you're watching this webinar here, like signs points towards the idea that you're not. Okay, so a service must be able to guide you properly from step from like step A, which is where you are to step B, where you want to be. So why and how? Let me explain to you why this is absolute, like uh, this is like necessary. Because without a clear guidance, you will not achieve the goal in the same way you have not achieved the goal until now. OK, I'm sure that if you're watching this webinar here, you have already tried several approaches with Candida and they didn't work. Or if they did work, they did not go exactly like planned and Candida may have come back. OK, so let me tell you the how the program must give you the precise instruction. And when I say precisely, there needs to be a step by step instruction on what you need to do today to move from point A to point B. And once again, let me remind you, this only has to be in a step by step approach. Now, the time of, of like video courses, books and consultation without a step by step approach is over. Now, it's time for you as a customer to say no. You must say no consistently to everything which is not step by step, because to be honest, they are a waste of time. Why do you want to waste your time and money? Like, again, there are mm, hundreds and thousands of people giving you like unprecise advice they're giving you like some indication this is wrong this is this time to say no to this like you like i bought so many books and i'm sure you can relate to this i, I book books i book like courses and nothing like yeah they give me like some advice but they don't tell you exactly on a day-to-day -day basis what they need to be doing what exactly i can what exactly i cannot and it's time to get these people out of business because it doesn't work like that like health is a complex situation. Health is a serious business. So if somebody cannot give you like a solution on a step by step approach, I'm afraid that does not work. That is not enough. OK, so these are two, two elements that are lacking in many services. And it is time for you to say enough is enough. Now, let me start from uh, the explanation of why I didn't publish my best selling book on Candida. So this book here, The Hidden Link Between Bluting and Candida, was a best-selling book. It did really well for the around one year when it, was, when it was out. And then at one point, I did decide to take it out of the market. What was the real situation with the book? Essentially, the problem with my book was that uh, I was not really giving like a step by step approach. I was not giving an exact solution. In fact, the book, as, as the title suggests, it was basically a scientific investigation between the link between bloating and candida. OK, so you can see in here it's really clear that uh, the areas that I'm going to cover is the, 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 the relationship between the two. But nevertheless, this book here, as good as it was, because it was based on over 100 papers, it was not enough for me to actually guide people through. OK, so and again, that's why I changed from the book to something called my strategic tailor-made research. OK, because once again, the book was more of a scientific research than a solution. So between the book and this and the, the tailor-made appointment, again, in all total, I read and studied more than 150 real scientific paper. So I went so deep into the topic of Candida. So now I can really give like an approach which is precise. It's step by step. And it's based on, on a concept of DAP, Data Action Plan. Let me tell you something extremely important. You need something like this against Candida because Candida is a microorganism which has been around. Look here. It's been on planet Earth for over 170 million years with only one purpose, which is to survive. So a very formidable opponent. But luckily for us, we have science and the human mind to deal with the situation. OK, so. 
let me tell you one of the most important steps of this video here, which is what can you do as a customer when it comes to your Candida journey? So the first thing that you need to do 100% is to look at the service and product that you, that you want to buy and see if there is a precise mention of a step-by-step -step actionable plan. If there is no mention of that clear mention with the promise of a step-by-step -step approach, I really suggest you not to buy like that specific appointment, not that specific product, that specific book, because it's not really going to help you because I can assure you with Candida, everything needs to be absolutely precise because Candida is a ruthless opponent and you need to be a ruthless human to fight against Candida. Okay. So in this scenario here, like, let me tell you how I ended up with my, like with my approach, the strategic tailor-made research. Essentially, after reading over 150 scientific papers on Candida, I started to realize that most of these papers here, they were agreeing on something called the core concepts of Candida, which means that there were some concepts which were across the whole spectrum of the papers, they kept coming back more and more. And I will explain some of them in this specific video here. So once you realize there are like some core concepts of the yeast, then you realize that those core concepts, those core challenges, they can be addressed. It's not impossible to address them. And actually, when you address them, the person improves. Okay, so from that moment, I realized, okay, Candida has to go through all of these stages. So for all of these challenge, challenges here, I can create like a plan which is going to address some of those challenges. And when you put everything together, you are essentially outgaming Candida at its game, which is to survive, because you're basically cutting out all of the chances that Candida has to go back and to try to fight back and counterplay what you're doing. This is exactly the only way, but to be able to do so, it needs to be a step-by-step -step approach that considers all of the biology of the yeast, and then you go against the biology of the, the yeast and you can defeat the yeast. Okay, so let me start to explain to you some of these core concepts. Uh, and then again, if you go on my YouTube channel, I have hundreds of videos on the topic so i'm not gonna go through everything in here i just gonna go through like some of the ideas but essentially when you look at this candida here what you can see is basically two forms of candida the one that you see in here yeast like cells is called unicellular yeast candida this is the form of candida which is harmless so yeast candida is harmless and this is the form of candida that is naturally present between around 70% of the human population, okay? So 70% of people do have yeast candida in their body. What you don't want to have is this form here, which is called hyphal candida or fungal candida. Now, fungal candida is the form of candida that digs holes into your body, it damages your body, it makes the situation horrible. So when you experience all of the horrible symptoms, the itching, the discharging, the brain fog, the, the mental fatigue, like the bloating, all of this kind of situation, what you're exactly dealing with, you're dealing with fungal candida. So essentially, what is the goal of a real candida approach? The, real, the, the goal is to be able to remove fungal candida and revert it back to yeast candida, which is harmless. Granted that if your immune system and your probiotics keep candida at bay, you can live a very healthy and very symptoms-free life just with having yeast candida. Now, it does not seem possible, so it seems to be impossible to completely eradicate candida out of the system. But that's not something that you want, it's something that it's not even needed. What you need is to remove and reduce as much as possible fungal candida, not yeast candida. Okay? So, what is the only logical then first step in your journey against candida? It's not to start to go on a candida diet. It's not to start to go on oil or oregano. It's not to start to take probiotic. The idea is that your first step of the program is to remove or reduce all of the reasons that they, they are basically essentially leading yeast candida to go to fungal candida. I repeat this one more time. What you want to do, you want to remove the causes of yeast candida going into fungal candida and obviously to do so you need to realize and you need to spend time to collect the data or you need to speak with a real expert to collect the data about your own personal case now let me explain to you what i mean by that essentially the main causes for candida to go from yeast candida to fungal candida are these ones here high sugar in the diet stress 
dysbiosis, excessive female um, um, sexual hormones known as estrogen, deficiency of the vitamin B3 and biotin, and also a deficiency or insufficiency in zinc. Okay, these are the main reasons for a lot of people. Now, obviously, if an expert or yourself can dig deep enough, you can you can easily pinpoint which ones were the reason in which they made the situation worse for you. Was it a round of antibiotic? Was it the contraceptive pill? Was it a diet which was high in sugar? Was it a period in your life in which you were consistently stressed and you couldn't like get, get away with it? Okay, so all of these situations here are the most important that you need to understand as a first step. Nothing else. There is no such thing as what are the best probiotics without you doing this. Because if you don't remove the causes, you can reduce uh, um, fungal candida into yeast candida, but it's going to come back. It is going to come back. If you don't remove the reason why yeast candida should go fungal in uh, three months, six months, it will come back. And there is nothing more disheartening that to have to think that your symptoms were gone, to think that your disease is gone, only to strike back with vengeance. This is something that you need to accept today. There is no such thing as anything else. This is the only logical first step in your journey against Candida. Anything else is wrong. Okay, now what are the issues of doing things on your own? So you can do things on your own, don't get me wrong, but you need to realize that you may miss a lot of crucial points because the journey against Candida is a very complex and very like scientific ones. Okay, so as an example, the first idea is what kind of Candida are you suffering from? Is it the common uh, like Candida albicans? Is it uh, Candida glabrata? Is it, is it Candida tropicalis? So the first step is to realize what kind of Candida am I facing? Also. Do you have any other bacteria growing with candida? Because depending on which kind of bacteria candida is growing with, uh, some bacteria will empower candida to go into the fungal form, some, can, some bacteria can keep candida into the yeast form. Let us now assume for a moment you do suffer from like vaginal candida. Now with vaginal candida, when candida is exposed to a specific bacterium known as lactobacillus or the genus of the, of the bacteria known as lactobacilli, Essentially, they tend to keep candida into this form here. When candida is exposed more to some bacteria known as staphylococci or streptococci, they actually empower candida to go into this form here. So understanding more about that, it is absolutely really important. So you can always do this on your own, don't get me wrong. I have over 100 videos on the channel, so you can start from there and study on your own. But the amount of information that you need to realize is very deep. Another issue that I see all the time between people doing things on their own, they don't really realize that taking supplements when you're taking medication can actually be deadly. And I repeat this one more time, you can die when you combine the correct, the wrong supplement with the wrong medication. You can actually die. So obviously it is way better to have an expert do that interaction checker for you. But by all means, if you need to do it on your own, it's up to you, it's your life, it's your choice. Okay. So this is just a little bit. I'm just really scratching the sofa while I'm saying that Although it is possible to deal with Candida on your own, it is obviously a very complex situation to deal with that on your own. Okay, so what's the number one step before you actually start to think of a solution? The truth is, is the number one step is data collecting. Okay, so what is data collecting? It's essentially to gather the data about your family history, about your medical history, about your food diary about what kind of medication you're on, if any, what kind of supplement that you have taken or you are taking, okay? This is the reason why in my strategic tailor-made research, I spend between two and two and a half hours on Skype to collect the data about your own health, okay? And again, and it is important to understand that I need to collect data at all levels, all levels, physical health, and emotional health, okay? Because if you just deal with your body, if you don't address also the emotional health of a person, that is not enough. I can assure you with this, if you don't deal with the stress in a person, if you don't deal with the emotional upsets of a person, candida will come back, okay? So the real health, the true health is at all levels. So also your inner world, which means your psychology, your emotional health, must be addressed in a real candida journey, okay? So once the data are present, then 
like the real research on your case can actually start okay so let me start with you with some of the new beliefs that you need to accept from today and essentially the, the new belief that i would like you to accept from today is that, that the natural condition of a human being is health so once health is perturbed once health is not present there is always a reason or more reasons to cause these perturbations of health okay so you can always dig deep enough if you have enough data to find out what went wrong to perturb the natural condition of you which is health okay and once these reasons are addressed with the proper guidance and serious research health can be recovered okay it's all about what i said before okay the data the action and the plan that's the most important parameter that you need to realize today so don't give up in this scenario here don't think that it's impossible for you to get better it is absolutely possible for you to get better as long as you accept that you need to dig deep enough to find out what went, what went wrong with your health okay so let me tell you like a little bit more so in the step one is precisely designed to guide your first period in your journey against candida okay so this is the moment in which if you work with me i will teach you precisely what you can and you cannot eat okay that's the most important parameter so i need to tell you right away what kind of foods are candida friendly what kind of foods are not candida friendly and i need to do so in a way which is sustainable for you for you because as i said before you're in for the long run it's not gonna be 30 days instagram challenge all of the kind of trash advice that i see on instagram they don't work it's just a waste of time it's going to take at least six months but probably it's going to take around one year so obviously i need to give you something which is sustainable for that time okay i need to explain to you what supplements to take which brands and exactly in which order because if you take supplements in the in the wrong order that is not going to work okay and again then i need to explain all of you in a lot of details because it needs to be cl crystal clear for you what you need to do what you cannot do what you have to do first what you have to do second and so on and forth okay so let me give you like a like an idea of something that i've done for some from, from like a like, like a client i'm going to show you some of those aspects so as you can see here all of this scenario here is clear and simple to understand okay so le let's have a look so i'm not going to go through everything but just have a look to this page here and you can see that everything is a look so i'm also gonna give you the like the the websites i'm just gonna give you like like clear links where you click and you find exactly what you need to be doing okay so it's all created there and we're gonna tell you like if you don't find it here just google the thing so it's so simple so clear so precise and the same thing is here so i'm listing what are the best fruits for candida yes you can eat fruits in a candida diet but i can tell you how much fruits that you can eat and which kind of fruits that you can eat which kind of vegetables that you can eat and how much vegetables that you should be having every single day okay and then i'm also highlighting what is the structure of the journey against candida so what you need to do like some of the core some of the detoxification some of the repair these are all of the steps in the candida journey which i explain to people during the consultation and it's all clear it's all precise it's all month one you do this month two to four you do this month five and six you do this all clear all designed boom 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 like it's impossible for you not to understand but at the same time i'm not just going to send you this because after i sent you the pdf i'm also going to speak with you for around 90 minutes to make sure that you do understand all of the steps of your journey against candida okay so what happens in many cases when it comes to the candida journey is absolutely wrong because too many people and again i told you before it is time to put these people out of business because they give you something which is not step by step they give you something which they think is controversial it's not controversial if you have studied enough in candida there is no controversy at all there is only ignorance that's the only thing okay and one of the most important thing is the action so a plan which is without data gathering listen your own health is individual what works for you may not work for the next client so data gathering and being able to understand and pinpoint your own personal triggers it works so much better there are no miracle remedies for candida there is no such thing as a magic pill that destroys candida the and it's also very hard to do things on your own possible yes but it is certainly very hard okay and again let me also 
spend a couple of moments on a generalistic approach. So I have heard and seen so many plans coming from a generalistic therapist that they really were not accounting for basically nothing of what's important and the results were obviously terrible okay but let me explain to you why this is this is obviously like that so if it takes uh, 100 to 150 real studying like studying real like papers to become a master on a one specific topic we're talking about between 2000 and 3000 pages of science that you need to know by the like the back of your hand so you need to know them with a lot of details this takes a huge amount of time years how can someone who does a generalistic approach be especially on a specific condition the answer to that is no they can't they cannot be specialists in many different areas you may be able to be a specialist in maybe two even three areas but that's about it i mean even with all of the time of the world you can't become a specialist in every single area you can't be a specialist in female hormones and you can't be a specialist in autoimmunity which is already like just female hormones it's already a big topic like an autoimmunity i mean there are several different autoimmunities and like and you need to study each of the of the different uh, of the different conditions so as you can see that's the truth you need a specialist approach because the quick solution like water speed test like again some month is 2019 how can you really think about that your diagnosis of candida is based on spitting in water come on really like what's wrong with that like you need to take like a real test spitting in water is not a real test okay so you can't really expect to defeat candida in 30 days 30 days sugar-free challenge like all of these kind of scenarios they're giving like unreasonable goals to people and then my majority of people they don't get better or they get candida to coming back and they are frustrated and you don't want to be frustrated because the more frustrated you are the more your stress is going to go up the more stressed you are the less the immune system can fight and let me remind you one more time that a healthy immune system is the bane of the existence of candida which is also what keeps candida into the yeast form okay so what is the ideal condition when it comes to candida that you need to develop a positive inner attitude okay it is extremely important to develop that you need to start to believe that it is possible because it is possible as long as we start from data gathering and we analyze the root causes that brought your health to a halt then things can work and then when you when we do a like 360 degree approach based on what Ex essentially diet supplement exercise drugs like lifestyle changes meditation relaxation technique you will see that all of the things can work and let me remind you that only the braves only the ones that really try can live symptoms free okay so if you are interested in working with me there is a link in the video description or if you're watching this on youtube on my channel like once again there is a link down there and on the channel i consistently pump out so much content two to three videos every single week there are over a hundred videos but it is essentially boom 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 constant like improvement because i need to undo years and years and years of lies about this specific topic which is not controversial at all despite what people tell you okay so let me also explain to you something which is extremely important about the failure uniform okay give me a second so what is the failure uniform the failure uniform is the mindset of the person which is skeptical the mindset of the person who's already defeated and when you wear the failure uniform you're gonna have a lot of excuses first excuse i don't have time to deal with candida so are you going to leave the situation like that this is the most bs excuse that i heard over and over and over again i mean ignoring a disease is not going to make the disease go away how i mean candida is going to thrive on your mistakes because candida wants to do one thing in its life which if you can consider it life which is to survive if you don't do anything because you don't have time it's not gonna work again look for looking for the shortcut by thinking i don't have time i want a shortcut it doesn't work try it i mean you can try it on your own come back in two months and tell me how it did for you okay so another thing that people are afraid i'm afraid to discover like what's in my body regarding like taking sense taking tests and so on and this is a complete nonsense i mean if you know what's going on in your body then you can take actions I mean being ignorant and doing nothing is not a solution how can you think it's a solution did it work until now 
Obviously, it did not. Um, so you need to take the step of taking the test. You need to take the steps of data collection. That's the only logical thing. Objection free, Nicola Zanetti is lying. I mean, this one is really funny. Go and see for yourself. Like I have over 100 videos. It's not that I'm hiding anything. Like my precision and my content is available to you on YouTube right now. There are over 24 hours of free content for you to see. If you think I'm lying, it's up to you. I mean, do whatever you want. Like I have plenty of uh, like testimonials on my best selling books. Uh, if you go and look for me on, on my Facebook page or LinkedIn, you see what people say about me, okay? So I leave this out, it's just a waste of time for me to answer. I'm afraid of the diet. <laughs> I'm afraid of the diet. Now, this is a legitimate afraid because you need to, like you need to work hard on that specific topic, but what kind of solution do you have? I mean, do you really want to stay like that? I mean, candida, depending where it is in your body, may lead to cancer. I mean, there are cases in the medical community in which candida in the mouth and the throat area led the person to develop like uh, uh, like oral carcinoma, or oral cancer, and the person died. I mean, what options do you have? Do you really want to go on with the symptoms forever? So the diet, I mean, the diet is complex, yes, but uh, I never lied to you from day one. I always told you that it's a long journey, but you need to start this journey here. You need to do it for yourself. You need to do for the people that you care for, because if you are ill, you will not be able to have the same energy. You'll not be able to have the same time to actually help them. Okay. Uh, like fifth problem, Nicola Zanetti, I believe in Nicola Zanetti, but I don't trust my persistence. And again, what option do you have? Okay, what option do you have? I will go through many times to help you with the positive inner attitude. I will give you exercise for that. But obviously, you need a strong willpower. Without a strong willpower, you can't win. There is no such thing as winning. But once again, I will design a plan which is not too impossible to be followed. It's not that like the BS thing of 30 days completing cutting out of sugar. I mean, see this for yourself. Like, like, when, like you have... A, the possibility of eating fruits. You have the possibility of eating foods decently, okay? So it's not like impossible for you to be able to do so, but you need to commit. I mean, I can't do anything about that, okay? So it's important to understand a lot of people, okay? So it's important, another thing that they need to say all the time, be careful with unqualified advice on social media. They are very dangerous because they come from people, especially these groups here of people in which they all have the problem. None of them actually solve the problem and they give you advice on how to basically essentially stay in their same situation. This is very serious and very dangerous. Don't want to believe me? Go in one of those like uh, free groups, uh, forums, and see if it works for you. If it does, by all means, uh, good luck with that. If it doesn't, then come back to this video here. Now, another thing that the people ask, oh, I don't really want to spend a lot of money for maybe testing for your consultation. And I'm okay with that. Like, I mean, obviously, it's like money is a topic that you need to decide for yourself. But let me tell you something very important, which is if you're taking the wrong steps, if you're taking the wrong steps with the wrong approach, you have already spent a lot of money in the wrong diet, in the wrong supplements, and essentially like in, in your health, because like when you're experiencing a lot of symptoms, you may not be able to actually be as productive as you can be. And like, uh, I mean, with a like, like a horrible candida infection, it's very difficult even to sleep in some cases because the itching is so annoying. So it's difficult to have a good like sexual relationship with your partner because like uh, may maybe like penetration is painful. Like all of these situation here, they need to be addressed. And the truth is you can address them with real specialist advice. Okay, so let me talk to you about the success uniform, which is the opposite of, of the of the failure uniform. You need to wear the success uniform and change your life. You deserve you deserve health. You deserve happiness. You de you deserve to live symptoms free. And everybody around you wants you to do it because once again, a lot of the things, and I am I'm like guilty of this as well. That as a human being, it's very often easy to put the other people ahead of you because it's it feels good to be like self-sacrificing for the people that you love. But let me remind you one thing. If you are ill, the kind of energy and the kind of time that you have to dedicate to take care of the people around you is going to be limited. Okay? It's much better to reclaim your health and then dedicate the entirety of your strength and on your time to actually work and take care of the people around you. This is the truth. You can't really take care of your family, of your business, of uh, your past, if you have any, if you're not well. It's not going to work, okay? So, 
another thing that another two beliefs that I really want to give you regarding the success uniform are two beliefs that you need to remind yourself consistently, which are number one, I will only trust proper guidance. I will explain my problem and then I will thoroughly follow the plan. This is about commitment. It needs to be there. Without commitment, I'm afraid I'm not the internet marketers that are going to lie to you. I'm not the generalists that are going to lie to you. You need commitment, otherwise you're not going to get better, okay? Second thing that you need to remind yourself, I will demand, no matter who I book with, a step-by-step -step plan of action. I will not accept less than that. It is your absolute, it is in your absolute right to ask for this, actually not ask, to demand for this because anything else is literally a waste of time and money you don't want to do that even if you decide not to book with me i have no problem with problems with that as long as you remind yourself i will demand something step by step and if the person is not giving me the step by step i will ask for a refund that's a very important step okay so what else is very important and again Step three is to remind yourself, I will express my doubts and fear, but I will never complain because life can be good if I want it. OK, so it's OK to struggle when Candida is not going away as fast as you would like, but you will not complain. You will follow through, you will focus and you will do whatever it takes to get better. And there will be moments in which they are difficult. Again, I'm not a liar, so I will tell you this. There will be moments that will be difficult, but you will push through. You will be able to do so. Okay? I trust that you can do it. Okay? Fourth thing, I will trust qualified advice based on real science because the science is there. I mean, there are more than 40,000 different papers on Candida. Anybody with a nice Candida, they are lying to you to your face. Okay? So, Trust qualified advice based on real science, no miracle remedies. They don't work. Okay? So, now let me close this video here. So, remember, let me remind you that my time is limited and I, I guess also is yours. So, I only want to work with people who really want to truly want to live symptom free, who don't believe in quick solution to a complex problem. Which we already know it's a lie. There is no such thing as a quick solution to a complex problem. Okay? So, if you are interested to work with me, there is a link in the video description. You click the link down below and you will submit your health questionnaires. Okay, so do it now so you can start your journey against Candida right now. After all of this situation here, we can start and work together to decide when and how to arrange your strategic tailor-made research with me. Okay, so this is enough for this video here. If you're watching this video here, on YouTube, please also like the video here and subscribe to the channel for more content. But the most important thing that I need to remind you right now is do not give up in your journey against Candida and become today a relentless anti-Candida fighter.